Hi everyone, welcome to my lunch hour. <laughs> I thought that I would show you guys a couple of the fabrics I picked up while me and Adrian was in New York City a couple weeks ago. So let's get into it. This first piece I got from Spandex House. It is a it looks like um just a poly ity type feel see the pattern is only on one side and then it's white on the other side this fabric as soon as i saw it i was like oh my gosh that is so beautiful i couldn't wait to get it and i want to use this fabric to make mccall 67 52. This is the first of the fabrics that I got from Metro Textiles. We spent the bulk of our time and the bulk of our cash at Metro Textiles. It is such a wonderful experience. I try to go at least once a year, but I haven't been to see Cashy since 2011. Um, a tip that I would tell you about shopping at Metro Textiles is that walk with a plan i usually save the photos of what i'm trying to make on my on my camera phone so i could show kashi and tell him you know this is what i'm looking for it makes his job so much easier because there's fabric everywhere and everything is overwhelming so this is um, a black and white rayon jersey and I want to make Simplicity 1653. The second fabric is this, it's a double knit, black and white striped double knit. Um, I think Adrian got a piece of this too. I'm not sure, I think we both did. When I saw this, I was like, oh my God, I know the perfect thing for this. That McCall's double knit skirt I made for my winter capsule yeah I said this will be the perfect thing to make one of those pencil skirts and I told him to pull out a matching plain black double knit to go with it and for this I'm going to make that new McCall's knit peplum top I think that would be a really simple, easy to make two piece. So what you're looking at here is a cotton sateen in the floral. I bought two and a half yards. So I could go either with making a floral jacket or I could use this to make that new Simplicity peplum dress that they released in the spring. I think it's 1650. Yes, as you can see, the colors are absolutely beautiful. Like, I like this fabric so much, I don't even want to cut it. Like, I just want to keep it in my stash because it's so, so pretty. Well, this is a good example of why I say always walk with your photos for your inspiration of what you want to make. When I went um, to Metro to find a pattern for Simplicity 1654, everything Cashy showed me I didn't like. I was like, I don't like this. I don't think this is going to work. I don't think this is going to work. And then, of course, I showed him the inspiration and he said I knew exactly what you want and he pulled out this beautiful chambray style um, navy and white linen it is the perfect thing um, that I had in mind to make this dress I'm going to use navy piping to bring out the seams So when it was time to pick fabrics for Butterick 8887, Mom 
Adrian and I was literally standing up staring at what I call his wall of knits, trying to figure out what colors I could use to make um, for the color combo for that dress. And my mom was like, well, these two could work. And I was like, yeah, as long as it's not yellow in cobalt blue, because I'm not wearing that to work. Um, I think these two colors are going to make for a fabulous version of that dress, and I'm very excited to make it. And this is my beautiful, beautiful metallic fabric. Now, I got to tell you, I told him I wanted a metallic skirt, and first he brought out this sequined lame style fabric i was just like oh my god you should have seen the look on my mom's face like her jaw literally dropped when she saw what he brought out she was like that's not you because they know me i don't i don't like too much of a showy type outfit i'm always more demure with my style and then i told him i'm like i need less and he brought me out this um I think it's a polyester, but it has stretch in it. So it's gonna work really well for the skirt. And the price, I mean, phenomenal. It was $4. Literally, I like held my breath when he said it. I was like, no way this could be $4. But he just laughed and said, well, I can make it more because, you know, he jokes a lot. And, um, and so I got two yards. Absolutely love this piece. This was the last piece of fabric I picked up during the fabric trip. When we got to Metro, Adrienne saw the turquoise version of this fabric and she immediately said, I need to get that. It was absolutely beautiful, fabulous. You'll probably see it in a dress coming soon because she wants to make it for one of her events. And I looked at it and I said, it's gorgeous, but it just says evening wear to me and I rarely have any occasions that I need to go to so I was like I'm gonna pass um, before we left Cashew was like you know I have this in black right <laughs> well immediately I thought well little black dress I mean even if I don't wear it to a major event I could always you know do something very you know subtle like go to dinner or something like that so I figured I have to get it so we both got a piece of this black now the best way for me to describe this is that it has a tuxedo type sheen to it um, the top of it is coated with this let me see if it could focus okay right there the top is coated, is brushed with the shiny effect, and the bottom is matte. So you automatically know the difference between the right and the wrong side. Um, I have no idea what I want to do with this. Um, I'm planning on doing a little black dress month based on that new book from Andre Leon Talley that's out. It's gorgeous. I mean, gorgeous books. I'm going to dedicate a whole month on my blog just for it. So within that time, hopefully the inspiration just comes out of nowhere for me to figure out how, you know, which pattern I'm going to use. But that's basically it. That's all the fabric I got. I got 10 pieces. It was a great trip. Adrian posted about it. I didn't feel the need to post more about it because I'll just be reiterating everything she said. And it was her trip, so it was her moment. Um, and we had a wonderful, wonderful time. And we plan to do it hopefully uh, probably at the end of this year or probably early next year, depending on her schedule. I could always go to New York because I got family up there. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it and this is for my spring capsule so you will be seeing these fabrics into garments very very soon okay until next time bye